जी प्यारा जी हारे हो जी प्यारा जी अरे हो जी दादा जी अरे हो जी दादा जी तमारा वीना क्या गोठ तू नी जगत कु संगे जदू केवल सत संगे जसूख केवल सत संगे जसू दादाजी नु हस तू मुख दादाजी हस तू समे दर्शन था तू हीरा मोती मारा जी समृद्ध सतिया वीना दल डूठर तू नी हारे हो जी दादा जी हारे हो जी दादा जी तमारा वीना क्या गोठ तू न थी क्या गोठ तो ना भर मुख लगे भर मुख लगे सत संग वीना सुनू लगे बेरहो दिवस रात जागे दिवस रात जागे ज्ञानी भवनी भावट भांगे ज्ञानी भवनी भावट भांगे रोको अतिक्रमण जी रोको अतिक्रमण जी रमण बीना क्या रूच तू नी तम रमण बीना क्या रूचना हारे हो जी दादा जी हारे हो जी दादा जी हारे हो जी प्यारा जी हारे हो जी प्यारा जी जय सचिव जय सचिव ओके अभी वी हैव टू ऐड थ्री मोर ओके तो काली कोट तो किसको मालूम है आता है नहीं आता है नहीं आता है बस ओ अक्षय का आपके पास इंग्लिश में है इंग्लिश में को टोपी वाले और दोनों जरा पॉज करना इंग्लिश में और खुशी आप करने वाला तो कभी नहीं क्या हो इन कोट टोपी वाला नहीं मालूम है मोनिका ओके मालूम है 
खुशी Number three, Monica. Ah, uh, ah, uh, Karishma. Four, Monica. Five, Nidhi. Six. Yeah, as a woman. Okay. Okay. जय सचिदानंद हे दादा भगवान मने कोई पन दे दादी जीवात मानो किंचित मात पन अहम न दुभाय न दुभावा के दुभावा प्रत्येना अनमोदाय इमी परम शक्ति आपो मने कोई पन दे दारी जीवात मानो किंचित मात पन अहम न दुभाय इमी सेवाद्वाद वाणी सेवाद्वाद वर्तन अने सेवाद्वाद मनन करवानी परम शक्ति आपो हे दादा भगवान उपदेशक साधु आचार्य न दहदारी साथे क्यारे पन कठोर भाषा संतीली भाषा न बोलाय न बोलावाय के बोलवा प्रत्ये न अनुमोदाय ए भी परम शक्ति आपो कोई कठोर भाषा संतीली भाषा बोले तो मने रुदु रुजु भाषा बोलवानी शक्ति आपो हे सच्चिदानंद हे दादा भगवान मने कोई पन देधारी की बात मा प्रत्ये स्त्री पुरुष अगर न पुसंग गम्मे ते लिंगधारी होय तो तेना संबंध मा किंचित मा तपण विषय विकार संबंधी दोषो इच्छाओ चेष्टाओ के विचार संबंधी दोषो न कराई न करावाय के करता प्रत्ये न अनमोदाय एवी परम शक्ति आपो मने निरंतर निर्विकार रहवानी परम शक्ति आपो जिनाय सब सब साथ में बाद में जिया हे दादा भगवान मने मने कोई पण रसमा लुब्ध पणो न कराय दिव्या अक्षय का पुलिस आने ने फोन कर जो दिव्या नंबर नाइन है ज़्यादा फुकवा दम दम कर मरे तो कुछ कयान को आनु मिस बनवाने परम चक्चा पर चक्चा पर चक्चा पर ओके ये दीदी नौ कलम आ और तीन मंत्र बोलाइए नमो उवजायानम नमो 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 
ભગવાન
I had project to be done with my friends. So she asked me for help in that course. So I was not able to do because me and my friends are doing the project. And uh, I said yes for two times. But while doing for doing while walking, I said some harsh words. That's why my mom got sad. And with Guru Papa, I doesn't tell any note there. So what did you, Mama, what happened? Yeah, Mama gave me to do mock work. So uh, I said, yes, I will do. Then I, I, when I was doing, she asked me some questions. So I replied in anger. She got upset. How could you do that? When Guruji asked you to talk? Okay, the uh, police aren't just here, so... Uh. Darsal, you are making noise. Okay, while we are waiting for Pulitanji, who knows the first code of conduct? Nobody knows first code of conduct? Kevin? You don't know first code of conduct? I think I uh, never heard any living thing through my mind, speech, and body. No. Is what? I never heard any living thing through my mind, speech, and body. You need to know the everything. Do you know the whole thing? Okay, let's do the separate opera, separation prayer, Dada Bhagwan. Kevil in English. You are separate body self, Kevil is separate. Oh, pure soul, Dada Bhagwan. You are uh, real body self, Kevil is relative. Oh, pure soul, Dada Bhagwan. You are permanent body self, Kevil is temporary. Rhea, do you know the separation prayer? Okay, you need to learn that, okay? Okay, Daksh, Hindi. Yes. Hindi, man. Dada Bhagwan ka prayer, malo me apko? Ha? Ha, boliye. Padai wali. Ha? Kwanthi. Okay, that's all Bible, that's all Bible. Okay, Jay Sajan Pulanji Pulitanji. We cannot we cannot hear you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. Yes. Jai Sachi Dhanan. Okay. Uh, Pulinanji, we are doing an experiment on our behavior with Guru in the home. Everybody is uh, Papa, Mama, brothers are Gurus, so we'll hear their experience. Okay, Monica Didi. Uh, thank you, Chidanan. Today, with my Guru Mami, I said, one time, no in her help because I had project to do with my friends. So she asked for help. So in second time, when she, when I over my project, she asked for in help in, to do mopping. So I told yes, but while doing mopping, she asked me questions. So 
So I replied in angry, but so she got upset. Okay, Karishma. Please, it's Nanan. ओके हिंदी में बोल सकते हैं आप ओके मम्मी गुरु मम्मी को और गुरु मोनिका दीदी को और गुरु खुशी दीदी को मैंने आज एक बार ना बोला था और गुरु पापा को और गुरु मम्मी को मैंने हाँ बोला था खुशी जय सचिदानंद टुडे आई टोल्ड फाइव टाइम्स यस टू माय मम्मी एंड टू टाइम्स यस टू माय गुरु पापा एंड वन टाइम नो टू गुरु दीदी बिकॉज शी आस्क मी टू स्टडी बट आई हैव लॉट ऑफ होमवर्क्स टू राइट टू सो आई यस टू माय टोल्ड नो टू हर एंड वन टाइम यस टू हर श्रेया दीदी हाँ जय सचिदानंद आई डोंट वन टाइम यस टू माय गुरु मम्मी एंड वन टाइम नो टू ऑल्सो गुरु मम्मी वाइल आई वॉज पैकिंग माय बैग माय मम्मी वॉज आस्किंग मी क्वेश्चन अबाउट स्कूल सो आई टोल्ड हर दैट यू आस्क मी लेटर सो माय मम्मी इज ईगो गॉट हर्ट एंड येस हर शी टोल्ड मी टू कम टू द स्टोर विथ हर टू बाय थिंग्स Jai Sachidanand. I obeyed my guru, nani, and guru mummy. Hey, Kaval. Um, I I said yes to to my uh, guru, dad, and guru mum. Darsal. Ha, Jai Sachidanand. Today I had said two times, two times yes to my guru mother, and two times yes to my guru father. जी आदित्य जी दक्ष जैसे अच्छी रानन आज मैंने मम्मी को मम्मी को हाँ बोला था और आज मैंने और आज मैंने दीदी को हाँ बोला था बस एक बार मैंने ना बोला था किसको ना बोला था दीदी को गुरु दीदी को गुरु दीदी को Why you said no वो आज हमारे मंदिर में कार्यक्रम था तो मुझे पेन मिला था हम दोनों को तो उसने बोला था पेन की मुझे लीड दे दे तो मैंने उसको मना कर दिया था के जिया दीदी हाँ जय सचिदानंद आई टोल्ड मम्मी टू यस एंड आई एंग्री विथ माय ब्रदर Okay, why were you angry? Good. As a light, as a light. He don't read. And Hindi. Okay, they so listen I... to you. Okay. Ria Didi. Ria, I have not done anything today. So, Ria, can you say yes to that now? Yes, yes, yes. Nice. Loudly, please. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay. Pulinanda ji, you heard children interaction with uh, Guru Mama, Guru Papa, Guru Didi, so you can uh, talk to talk about it. Uh, uh, well, some of the authors may have mentioned this before. Uh, one key thing that the Bhagwan had said, as far as uh, Guru Papa, Guru Mummy, that anyone. Uh, so anyone who serves their father, mother, and maybe guru, our spiritual guide, who gives us guidance on the spiritual path, he will never suffer in life. If you can keep them happy or make them happy, then. You will never be unhappy in your life, relative life, because you, those those are the people who have taken a lot of pains 
in giving birth to you in raising you up behind attending you physically mentally emotionally you know so one can never forget their obligation na avaj se na avaj sakta no nobody no no now need the monica someone i don't know thing this now somebody else koi no nahi aao to mane aaye the to okay so uh uh one can never forget the obligation of one's parents uh it's a very very important principle very very important principle. so whatever generally speaking parents do it is in the best interest of the children they undergo a lot of sacrifices to fulfill your needs in raising you up so one can never forget the uh, obligation of parents and that can only be done by serving them seva that is serving in seva now if you have this understanding at the back of your mind that our parents have done a lot of sacrifices in raising us up then automatically you will have a lot of respect for them and you will see to it that you don't hurt them now you may have difference of opinion with them they may have they may insist on some things to be done immediately some household chores they may insist on your homework they may insist on you not going for playing out or whatever reasons but bear one thing in mind if they are saying something it is for your interest you may disagree i am not saying you should agree but then you have to find out a working compromise that mama i will not do this work now i will do it later on so see to it that they whatever they say is also taken care of and at the same time whatever you want is also taken care of if there is a clash between your priority and their priority or your this thing and this in that case see what is the best you can do for them if you have a high regard for them you are you are greatly indebted to them you know gano bodo upkar jene kahe na so if that is there then automatically your behaviors will be good so if you have that thinking at the back of your mind then maybe all these things will not happen occasionally you may say no and all that but then see to it that you do that work if not immediately little later on maybe later on your parents are not your enemies your parents are not your enemies so keep that in mind Anybody okay. has a question for Purindada? Monica, why don't you uh, tell your action that Mama, while you're busy, Mama says something and you become angry? Yeah. While Mommy gave me a work, I was doing that. Then she, while doing the work, she asked me some questions. So I replied in anger. so she got upset ha huh, so this is you see this may happen this may happen but then you have to learn you have to learn to reply politely yes you have to learn it. that is why all that now the all what are all the prayers you are saying what is the use of all the prayers you are saying that you don't want to hurt anybody mind word speech maybe you you have you have prayed about some you know now kalans also in the past yes ah, so then where is all that gone where is all that gone each prayer any one prayer also if you really do it heartily na then you don't need anything else in life even if you decide that i will not hurt my parents and elders 
by mind, speech, and body. Just keep that as your goal. Finish. And if that is your goal, then this will not happen. What is happening is not in you in particular. In general, right? now I am saying in general that you people sometimes follow your parents or whatever we are saying in satsang. Do this prayer. Do this. So you do it mechanically because you have been told. Because you feel it is a good thing, parents also are happy about it. Oh, my daughter's son is doing this prayer, so you do it. But it is not coming from the bottom of your heart. You are praying because you are asked to pray, but not that you agree with the prayer. The day it, the day you agree with the prayer, or it becomes your personal prayer. Yes, I don't want to hurt because if I hurt elders, I will be hurt in return. Hence, I don't want to hurt. Now that decision has not come from you people. You are saying because you think it is good, and because your elders want it. The day you decide, no, no, come, what may I don't want to hurt, then none of you will have any of these complaints. Yeah. So all I'm requesting is that whatever is uh, whatever is being told to you in these satsangs. By way of prayers, by way of doing this and that, see how much of it you really agree. And if it appeals to your heart, then you have to take it heartily or seriously. And if it becomes your goal that you don't want to, today it is not your goal. Today you have been told, so you are doing it. Given a choice, you would not do it. Suppose you are not attending such things. Suppose in Rajni Zada, Rapta Bhutas were not telling you, don't do this, don't do this. Then you have not done anything of this. You just go the way you feel it, things are right. तुम अपनी मन मानी करते थे, तुम दूसरों की सुनते ही नहीं थे। वो तो दबाव आया है इसलिए दूसरों की सुन रहे हो। ये दबाव को सही समझ में कन्वर्ट करो। Convert this whatever has been taught to you and try to internalize it. अपने अंदर उतारने की कोशिश करो। Your intellect must agree to it. Your heart must agree to it, and if it is not agreeing for some reason, then ask those questions. Why you don't agree? But neither Ada or Abhijit Bhutra X Y Z is telling me to do this, but I don't agree, or my I don't feel like doing it. My mind doesn't allow me to do it. Ask such pointed questions and get answers to those questions. The day any of the prayer goes down heartily, I tell you, you don't need anything else. You don't need anything. Else. Today there is a conflict between what you really want to do and what has been asked by you to do. Yeah. We're not. Ah, uh, in your case, Monica, maybe you didn't want to do the work, but mommy has told you, so you're doing it. Maybe what answer will I give it today at nine o'clock to Gurney Dada? That is why you're doing it. Yeah. And and you you didn't want to do it, but you're doing it. And in that, if mommy asks you something, you block because inside you are irritated. You're not happy with what you're doing. So that will sometimes blow out. I don't know whether, huh? Yes, that's the reason I don't want to do it, but I was doing it. I know that's exactly what I'm saying. It's happening with all of you. It happens. It happens. I'm not saying you are wrong. I'm only identifying why, in spite of all these prayers, uh, you are still unsatisfied, dissatisfied. You are also dissatisfied in spite of doing all this. You see? <laughs> I don't blame anybody. I'm just, I'm just trying to analyze what's happening. Yes. So, so the crux is trying to understand why I should do what my girl, mother is saying, or as you call it, uh, what are you calling this? Uh, guru, 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 mama. Guru, mummy, or guru, papa. You have to understand why you should do what your guru, mummy is doing. Why you should do your why guru, papa is doing. Why you should do what your guru. Brother or someone is doing. Unless you understand that, this will only remain as long you are online in satsang. The day this stops, now padak say you will do what your mind says or what your intellect says. You understand? So, so it, it calls for a little bit of understanding why, why I should do it. Okay. So that will, that will come when you try to understand the other's viewpoint, your guru, mommy's viewpoint, your guru, that daddy's viewpoint. That whether he is saying for my help good or for his good, mm -hmm. 
Oh my so if 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 your intellect agrees on that that it is for your good, then this question will arise. Yes. So it will take time, but this is the process of trying to change your understanding. It's not a it's not a quick fix solution. It will take time. Slowly, 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 slowly it will happen. One or I am saying even one or even two such. Understandings are internalized. Okay, dil ne kabul kar liya. Ha, ye baat sahi hai. Ye mere hit mein hai. Papa right hai. Papa may be wrong, but what he's saying is right. You may not like the way he has said it. You may not like the way he insists he should be done like this. Me karungi, aaram se karungi. Why the hurry? That's also possible. Everything. Ha. Yeah. Huh. So that may happen. But if your understanding, one or two understandings match with your parents, na, I say eighty percent of your problem will be solved. Yeah. So take time to understand why, and if you are not satisfied, ask in the online questions to Napta Putras. So Papa ne thei sa bola, lekin mere ko to nahi jam rahe. Kya karu? Khali hathoda mar diya. Ab to utro ne to kuch swikar karna zaruri nahi hai. Abhi khali swikar kar loge to jamega nahi. Lain long term nahi tikega. And Dada Bhagwan has only done one thing. He has given a right understanding. Yeah. Which is trying to correct the wrong understanding we have brought, not only for you, even for us, everybody. So it takes time to, it takes time to accept the new understanding. Yeah. This is what all of you should be trying to understand the prayers. Why you are doing? What is the advantage of prayer? Or what is the advantage of whatever decisions you are doing? You are writing a notebook for yourself. Why you are writing the notebook? What do you want to achieve by writing this notebook? What do you want to achieve by doing? This that end goal must be clearly in your mind. But unless you know what you are going to achieve, you will do it. But after some time, if you don't get the results, will all go away. Right now you are carrying on because your parents want to do it. Right now you are carrying on because there is a lot of wah 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 for you. Zoom me, everybody is saying, "Arey Shriya, great. Arey Kewal, great. Arey that great. That great, 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 great is motivating you. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong. It's right. Perfectly right." But it has to convert in that that understanding that you are gaining in the satsang. It has to convert into your partly acceptance of it. I am not saying you may accept everything, but at least two or three key points also. If you accept, na, then that will bring all the remaining points automatically. Yeah, we lost them. Um, Pune Dada. Okay. The Kanakasas got got. But they are coming back. Okay. Shreya Didi, no. do you understand? Huh? Huh. You know the mistake you made now of what Dad Pulinda Dad said. Huh? What mistake you made? I shouldn't have told my mommy that I will tell you later. I I should have told my mom at the right point when she asked me to. Okay, very good. Any anybody else has another question? Anybody? Okay. So very okay. They are back now. Pulin Dada. Rashmi Dada. Yes. Yeah, Kushi has question. Okay, Kushi. Hi, Jai Sachidanan. My question was that whenever my sister or mommy tells me to do any work, I first directly tell them no. Then I tell yes. So they got upset by telling the telling no to them. So what should I do by to not telling them no? Why do you give tell no in the first place? I don't want to do that work. Then I understand my mommy what what she is telling because she is tired. Then I tell yes. Then do she got angry? Why did you tell no first? So that's exactly what I said. My first point was my opening statement was that. Parents are the topmost persons whom you must serve. Mother's seva karna, unka upkar, ham zindagi mein kabi nahi bol sakte. Agar ye aapke dimag mein, aapke dil ne isko accept kiya, if your heart accepts this, then you will not say no. Today you feel parents are useless here. They are only there to give food to you, take care of your hobbies, homework, school, bus, and I want to enjoy life. 
you enjoy life but they you are they is great amount of obligation you know you are under them and by serving them you know you're not only serving them you're serving yourself if you make them happy i can assure you that of all of the children that you will never be unhappy in your life and you will have people giving you happiness okay so this is the principle now i will give you the proof of it for one week listen properly one week just decide to help your parents to make them happy only for one week no argument kuchhi do this better do this do it no argument even if you don't like you will get instant happiness just try for one week now that is the proof of the pudding once you experience yourself okay, no no this is helping me then you will not leave it then you will continue to do it service to parents is the greatest service you can do to anybody okay kuchi the thinking has to change okay so this is good uh, pulin dada uh, children uh, we will do one one full week of this experiment and then you will decide yourself it is good or bad okay uh, everybody uh, okay what what is the homework for the whole week kushi uh, we should tell yes to our parents instead of no and we will see that uh, we are getting inner happiness or not ha ah, inner happiness very important without anything from the senses nothing from the eyes no inside you will feel happy and also one thing you do not want to hurt your parents okay so please put post this on the group okay kushi didi ah uh, okay huh? can you do that yeah okay anybody else on a question kevel you got the homework can you do that okay daksh malum pad gaya homework ha okay very good okay jai sachi dan children sachi dan okay. we will we will, we will see you tomorrow we'll see you tomorrow okay akshay bhai i i need to take a break so you are in charge there's no question unless okay. you want to start with a question lalita ben your question can you unmute lalita ben uh, i i'll yes okay lalita ben your question uh Y- yes uh jai sachidanand pulinanand ji i have read your book on the workings of the mind according to dada mhm i have a friend who's online right now she would we talk about dada but you know she's uh, interested in knowing more she has not taken nyan for her benefit could you please explain how the mind works okay Dada Bhagwan has uh, given a very nice explanation of what really mind is. How do you identify the mind? What its function is, and and uh, who who are the parents of the mind? After that, he has also said how you can control the mind. So, if I may start off, what is mind? the thoughts that come to us today oh the, the pulidan ek minute okay uh, lalita ben who is your friend? is mira ben there or who is there mira is there and sailia is there okay so uh, okay we'll put them uh, tell them to uh, have their video we'll put them on so they can talk oh there is mira ben okay now you can talk with uh, pulidan ji also okay okay jai sachidan pulidan ji ha jai sachidan mira ben 
Jain Satchidanand Pulinandji. I have actually taken Nyan from Dada um, in 1994. So I have uh, Jain Satchidanand, um, but I, uh, Shaili Ben is here. Um, I think uh, Lali Auntie is talking about Shaili Ben. Jay Satchidanand. Um, Jay Sachidanan, I'm Sailia, and um, Dr. Lalita Ji actually introduced me to uh, Dada Bhagwan's teachings. And uh, since then, I've been <coughs> reading um, Dada's uh, books. And uh, I haven't uh, taken the Gyans right now, but uh, I'm um, so I have a couple of questions in the, after reading the books. Yeah, please go on. Oh, yeah, can I ask the questions right now? Yes. You can hear me, right? Yeah. Yeah, so for one of the first things, the first thing that I want to ask is, um, how do I um, handle um, regrets, any regrets that you might have? Like, for instance, I have uh, regret about uh, not being uh, um, hard enough in some say some point in my life like i feel like okay i, I should have worked more i should have given more um, i've not worked my, my full capacity i know at some level after uh, ba bhagwan's uh, reading his books and everything i can understand at some level that it is not we are talking about the relative self here but still um, it does uh, bother me so how do i deal with this you see regrets about the past regrets about the past now there, uh, as far as the past is gone, the best we can do is take learnings from it. That whatever we regret that I should have done this, then mm -hmm. just take learning that from this, mm -hmm. in future, if such a thing happens, I should be doing this. Okay. What has gone is gone. Uh, yes. We must extract the learnings from it. That's all. So what we learned by that experience. That okay. was anyway to be destined. You see, there is a destiny we have brought, you know. So yes. at, at that point of time, whatever you thought was appropriate action, you did. Incidentally, you feel that was not the thing in hindsight now. Yes. So yes. you and none of us have any control on that because yes. you were destined to suffer or take an erroneous decision. So that was part of your destiny or par prarab karma, if I may. karma, okay. That you so don't have any control over that. No, so all I'm saying is you have to now hmm. pacify your intellect who is hmm. bothering you. I wish I had done that. The regrets yes. part of it. Yes. So that regret is basically nothing but a, your intellect showing you a wrong thing or a loss that has incurred to you. It's in intellect when you're saying this was a wrong thing you did. Yes. So to pacify that, you have to say that was part of karma that you were destined to suffer. So you took a decision at that point of time, which now you feel in hindsight that was not most appropriate. So all you can do is, all you can do is, if such a thing happens, what should I do now in future? Just extract that, that henceforth such a thing happens, I will do this based on my past experience. Mm -hmm. and forget the past, as simple as that. Yes. Tell the intellect what is gone is gone. It's not going to come back. And by regretting, you are only making your life miserable. Yes. So you must say, oh, oh, intellect, make my life happy. Why are you making me miserable? So you must tell the intellect, now you tell me what the way forward. The way forward is learn from this, decide not to repeat the mistake, and march ahead and, and, and focus on the future. Okay. You see, actually speaking, ideally speaking, everyone should be living in the present moment. Yes. But what happens is this intellect either takes us in the past or it takes us in the future. Right. Past is what the regret. I should have done that, but the a person X Y Z did not did did not or uh, did not behave properly with me or did wrong things to me. So either we keep pondering on the past episodes, people, uh, situations, or we keep worrying about the future. What will happen in next? My health, my wealth, my career, my children, my family. Yes. It never allows you to remain in the present. Very so, moment you catch true. yourself in either of the two, just pause. Tell us, say whatever mantra or anything you want to say or pray to any God you want to, or just remember Dada also. Dada, bring me in the present. Finish. 
So from the past, okay. at least you decide. Past, so two things you must say. Past gone is gone, which cannot be reversed. So forget it. Hmm. But what I can do best, take the learnings from it and decide my future course of action. Okay. And to come out of the past, bring your mind to the future. What I want to do in next? How I want to approach my next? So just divert, divert your attention from the regret. It is stuck hmm. over there into what next hmm. should I be doing? Okay. Maybe not on that particular topic or anything else in future. Hmm. I, I want to do this exercise. I want to do this house renovation. I want to do this career, this savings, this shopping, X, Y, Z. Hmm. Just divert it. That's a, one of the ways of coming out of regret. And once you keep hammering, and it will not happen in one shot. You have to keep hammering, yes. hammering, 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 hammering till it stops. Yes, yes. that's it's, what I noticed. Yeah. This is a, a, it's a long-term project. Because it's a habit that has got incalculated in you of going in the past, staying in over there. Mm. So it, that, that habit has to be, you know, to come out of it. Mm. So it'll say it takes some time. H A B I T is habit. The spelling of habit is H A B I T. If you knock off the H, A bit remains. If you knock off the A, B I T bit remains. If you knock out the B, it remains. A habit takes long time to erase. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Thank you. So that's, so, that's all. For, for now, I will ask more questions. No, no. See, no, no, one minute. This is only about the past. Now you don't go too much in the future. Also, that that will cause worries. Yes. So try <laughs> slowly, slowly catch yourself in the past and come in the present. What am I doing now? I'm doing cooking. I'm reading. I'm doing this. So focus, focus, focus. focus. And mind keep wandering and then, then chant some mantras or say Radha Bhagavan Narsim Jai Karo. Yes. So that is one of the ways of diverting the mind from the past or present, uh, from past or future in the present. Okay. These are tools to come in the present. Yes. And I want permanent happiness. I want permanent happiness. I want permanent happiness. You must start your own record. So the record of the mind and intellect stops. It'll keep going. Okay. Okay. So this is the moment. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jai Satchi. Jai Satchi. And wonderful question. We have a lot many questions raised mm -hmm. because it's mind. You know. uh, Vaishali Ben. Jai Satchi Dhanan Puri Nanamji. Jai Satchi Dhanan Akshari. Um, my, I have two part question. First one is Vaishalini in English. Vaishali's prakriti is that, you know, there is all these opportunities and things come about, but there's major FOMO, fear of missing out. So I extend myself to, you know, get almost to a point of getting burned out because I don't want to miss out on an opportunity. So with Nan's understanding, how do I explain to Vaishali that you're not really missing out. You do the best you can. And my priority should be towards file number one, not on the opportunities that are being presented to me. Opportunities in terms of? In terms of, I'll give you an example. Because I do the social media work, there is an influencer event up in LA that I've been invited to. Now, you know, going to an event where all these big people will be there or successful people will be there. It's about a two and a half hour drive on a Sunday. And then I have somewhere to go early morning tomorrow. So it's a bit of a stretch, but I still want to go because I should be with these people. So I don't know if it's the right thing to do. I mean, there is this where I say, I'll just go and meet them. You've been invited, you know, do your thing and come back. Or do I just say, don't stretch yourself and don't do this? No, that depends how important that event is. That, de that depends on the... <coughs> really speaking, in life, you have some goals, you have some priorities. So go about working on those priorities to the best of your abilities. One will never really miss the most essential things. The state will always put you on the right path. It is the intellect which is giving you this FOMO. Fear of missing out is the function of the buddhi or intellect. So it has, it will be only pacified by experience. If you experience or observe that things, the good things that are happening to you, how opportunities fell into your place, how you got that piece of information in time, how that work got to, took place. 
So if you see the circumstances which lead you to the right thing, the same logic you have to apply. There will be circumstances in future also. If something right is going to happen to you, you will, nature will take you over there. So don't worry that you're going to miss out. You will never miss out anything. But you should not be even lazy enough. We should be on your toes also. So then it's descending on the priorities, as you said, a two-hour drive and something else to do. What is the worth it, you know? Now, if that two hours drive is really earth shaking and something very much important for your career, then you have to stretch. Then you have to stretch. So it's it's FOMO you live out. In life, you will never lose anything. Basically, we must have our goals and priorities decided very clearly. In in my career, I want one, two, three. Uh, in my personal life, I want one, two, three. Them objectives or what this is going to say. And then you have to work on those goals to the best of your mind and physical, mental and physical abilities permit to you, your time permits to you. If something doesn't fall into a place, it does not matter. If it's part of a it will come to you. If it's part of a it will not come to you. So one never really loses. Frankly speaking, one never really loses anything. It's all destined. But then that, that will be only pacified by your hardcore experience. So the only way is Set high, set whatever goals you want to set in relative and real, of course. Nature will do the need field so that you achieve those goals. Nature will do it. You don't have to worry to do it. Efforts will be there, but that worry part, I missed out. I will be late. That is intellect, the viprit buddhi acting, and that is giving you burning or suffering. But nature will bring me opportunity, but do I not have to decipher that is this uh, opportunity that I'm taking it for the right reason? For example, if I'm going to this event, what is my true reason of attending this event? Is it because I'm going to get man? Is it because, you know, hanging out with this big people will bring me more respect or all of that? Or is it because I truly admire these people and the work they're doing and I want to actually learn something from them. So don't I have to have that conversation inside of my head? Yes, uh, yes of course you have to do that. You have to do that. What is the real reason of attending the event, you see? Right. If it is beneficial for your career, yes. But if it's only for mm -hmm. the month, then you have to see whether you have the time and energy to do it. Interesting. Uh, the answer is there with you. <laughs> I actually, I got my answer as I was talking to you. I, I understand that. So it always has to go down to the true reason why I want to do something. Then don't worry about the FOMO because that's just, you know, buddhi telling me whatever that is. But if it's in alignment with my bigger goals, then go for it. If it's not, don't do 